two minutes. Oh, we're live. All right, then. I'm the True Jordy, and welcome to the KSI versus Logan Paul Wayne. We've got the undercard, we've got the lads, they're all here. We're going to start off with JMX. All right, mate, jump on. Take whatever you want off, leave whatever you want on. Just make sure you leave the boxers on, eh? He's making them look bad, for Christ's sake. Tweak this skit. The Stuart! Stuart, get yourself over here! Uh, we've got a bit of a problem with the scales, mate. This isn't reading right. You're just standing there. Do you feel awkward right now? Because I feel fine. To be fair, mate, I wish I had a six-pack like that. I, I, I'm the one who should feel awkward, but, you know. Got, I've got other things, other qualities, do you know what I mean? Plenty of other things going for us. It's fine. Pounds, ideally. Ready? All right, mate, get your song. Is that right? JMX weighs in at 93 kilograms. Yeah, get your clothes back on, mate. I'll give you a second. Take all the pictures while they're off. Right. Next up to the stage, it's Coach Richard. Two big boys on the bloody hell. Coach is on the skills. Coach weighs in at 84.9 kilograms. Gonna do a little face off here in a second, lads, when he's already. All right, last seconds. All right, nice one, nice one, nice one. That's enough, that's enough. All right, I like the intensity. Love it. All right, next to the stage is Faze Sensei. Oh, he's a beast, this lad. He's looking forward to it. He's been shadow boxing downstairs. I've seen him. He's right up for it. 
Face steps on the scales, weighing in at 87 kilograms. He's a big boy. And he will be taken on over its flow. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guy, this lad. I'm impressed with what I've been hearing about you, mate. Overt flow weighs in at 84 kilograms. Another two big lads fighting each other here. Do a little face off. Oh, he's gone shirtless, mate. Huh? Oh, that's a good look. All right, that's enough, lads. That's enough. Save it for tomorrow. Next up to the stage, it's Raka Raka. It's a bit awkward in getting your cut off in front of all these people. Oh, he's loving it now. Socks still on. Legend. 69 kilograms for Raka Raka. And next to the stage, it's scarce. Have you been taking this seriously, mate? Good lad. Didn't expect it from you, I'm proud of you. Just make sure you keep everything on there. Eh? Things are coming down here. Yeah. This is a family friendly show. All right? He's on the scales, weighing in at 79 kilograms. That was the weirdest stay down yet, I've got to say. Did anyone else think that? I didn't know whether we were going to kiss or punch each other. Next up, it's an Eason game. He's a machine. He's in the shape of his life. <laughs> oh, this is not like the UFC, is it? <laughs> 79 kilograms for Kibble! I know, I've worked hard. Yeah, he's calling the shots. Next up to the stage, it's Jay Swingler. Come on, Jay. Jay Swingler weighs in at 78 kilograms. Very evenly matched, these lads. All right, no touching, didn't get uh, any ideas? Well, let's see where your business is getting tomorrow. I'm laying you out. I'm laying you out. All right, calm down, calm down. All right. All right, that's enough. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, we're going to take a little break. And then we're going to bring out someone very special. Give us a minute. <coughs> All right, we're going to take a five, ten minute break. Everyone, grab a drink, chill out.
All right, everyone, we're ready? Shut up! It's my pleasure to introduce to you a legend of boxing, Mr. Michael Buffer. Thanks for coming, mate. Um, we can't believe you're here for this, quite frankly. We're, we're sort of blessed to have you here, mate. I'm here. i got to be here. It's going to be a great event. Um, we'll be packed arena here in Manchester tomorrow night. And uh, it's, it's where I want to be. You've done loads of these, a career. How long have you been doing this for? Now, if you don't mind us asking. 36 years. Unbelievable. Uh, can you give the people in this room an idea of some of the big fights that you've done before? Oh, yeah, a lot of Mike Tyson fights. Uh, Mike Tyson in Sphinx, um, Holyfield, uh, the three fights with Riddick Bowe, Mar going way back, Marvelous Marvin Hagler, and some of his fights, Ray Boom Boom Mancini, Sugar Ray Leonard. Not that he's bragging, it's fine, it's fine. This is my biggest event I've ever done, but you know what I mean. Um, so, uh, what do you make of this whole YouTube thing right now? It's so all new to the mainstream, isn't it? You know, it's absolutely amazing, the numbers and the fan following and the, the subscribers, and uh, it, it just amazes me every time I, I was looking at, at YouTube last night just to look at some of the stuff with, uh, you know, Deji and, and and Jake and Logan and uh, KSI, and you see numbers like 200 million views. Oh, I, oh my God, it's just amazing. Well, um, the the, the co-main event, these guys we've seen uh, can't really keep their hands off each other, not in a good way. So they're going to do a separate uh, weigh-in for uh, Jake and Deji, um, but the main event we'll do as normal. But I'll let you take it away, mate. Right. Do what you do. Better. Thank you, Jordy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, upload events in association with Maverick Media and OP Talent proudly present tomorrow night at Manchester Arena a great night of combat. Mano a mano, sports combat like the world has never seen. It's the Maverick versus the Nightmare. Logan Paul versus KSI in our main event. And our co feature is what we're going to have right now, the official weigh in. Let's bring up to the scales. This will be a six-round contest tomorrow night. Three-minute rounds, ladies and gentlemen. Six of them. So first up to the scales, please welcome. He's 21 years old. He stands 5 feet 11. He's the Team 10 leader. Ladies and gentlemen, TV star, recording star, YouTube star, RNBO presents Jake Paul. <laughs> Here he is, Jake Paul! I just want everybody to know because of, uh, not that they really are crazy about each other, we're going to weigh uh, Deji and Jake separately. So here he comes. Her with Mini J stepping onto the scales. Mini J, 16 kilos. Boom. I, I promise you, he's not fighting anybody tomorrow. Take off the bling. <laughs> Native of Ohio, USA. Now living, training, and fighting out of Hollywood, I think. On the scales, Jake Paul. Stay still. 82.5, 82.5. For Jake Paul.
In pounds, it's 181.8. 181.8 in pounds. Fight weight already. Fight weight already. Jake Paul, ladies and gentlemen, do you have, let me ask you, Jake, you come from a state famous for athletes, Ohio State, of course, and, and uh, a lot of great fighters, Ray Boom Boom Mancini, what's your game plan for tomorrow night? Uh, I'm just going for that first round KO. Some, someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do it tomorrow night, you know. First round KO. All right. Jake Paul, ladies and gentlemen. Jake Paul, brought to you by R&B. Going for that first round KO. Well, we're going to bring somebody else up here to weigh in who has a different opinion in regards to a first round KO. We'll have to wait a few minutes till the room clears. gentlemen of course you've all met Jordy and he'll be along on the broadcast team tomorrow with the two-time heavyweight champion of the world Shannon the Cannon Briggs who's in the house Shannon are you here come on up and say hello let's go champ let's go champ let's go champ Shannon Briggs Two-time two heavyweight champ. He's, he actually won, and he won the lineal heavyweight title when he defeated George Foreman. I was there for that decision. It was a good one. And uh, is Johnny Nelson here? I don't know if Johnny's in the house. You know, the former cruiserweight champion of the world is uh, on part of the broadcast team, Johnny Nelson. Champ, what do you think? You just saw Jake, pa Jake Paul weigh in. He looks uh, slim and trim and ready to fight. And he wants to go for a first round KO. Now, wait a minute. You hold the record for the most first round KOs uh, as a heavyweight, am I right? Yes, sir. Oh my God. Damn, right, let me back up a little bit here. Don't hurt me now. What do you think it's tomorrow night? Oh uh, man, it's gonna be an awesome fight. I'm looking forward to it like we all are. I think it's gonna break records like we, we spoke about. Um, I know for a fact that uh, Jake and Logan are both in phenomenal shape. They were trained by Milton McCoy who trained me to be George Foreman when I was 25 years old. So they got a phenomenal trainer. I'm impressed with KSI and Deji, both great guys. They trained really hard. I'm, I got to say, I'm kind of neutral, you know, but I love those guys as well. It's, it's going to be a great fight. I'm, a, I'm expecting two brutal fights tomorrow. So to everybody at home, order it now. Let's go. All champ. right, it's all available on YouTube. Let's go, champ. Are we ready for the next weigh-in? All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up to the scales. 21 years old, five feet, nine and a half. He's ready to fight for family honor. He's the YouTube sensation. He is Deji the Tank. Oh. Stepping onto the scales. 
He's trained hard. He's ready for this one. It's brother versus brother. You gotta turn that sucker on. <laughs> okay. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Down to zero. Okay. Tank. The tank. Deji! The tank. You gotta drop that mask for me, brother. <laughs> All right. Here he is, Deji. Now, I think you heard what, what Jake Paul just said. He's looking for a first round knockout. These are three minute rounds. That, that third minute each of those three minute rounds, that's gonna be the tough part. Are you, are you, uh, you trained hard? He's delusional. He didn't want a face off now. We, we were meant to have a face off now and he didn't want one. Does that, because he's too scared to come at me. Does that make any sense? How does that make any sense? Like, okay, so we're meant to do a face off but he's too scared because he's gonna come at me. I, I don't understand that. Yeah, well, he's delusional. Jake Ball's delusional and I'm gonna show him August, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow, I don't care. Tomorrow, I'm gonna mess him up. Tomorrow, I'll mess him up. And that's it. Tomorrow, that's it. That's all I have to say. The tank has spoken. Tomorrow night, our co feature. Three minute rounds, six of them. Jake Paul versus Deji the Tank. I hear Shannon Briggs back there. Let's go, champ! Let's go, champ! Jordy, let me ask you while we're waiting for our next uh, contest, the main event. What do you think? You've seen both fighters now. You've seen them weigh in. Uh, difference in size. Uh, it might come down to who's got hand speed, who's got footwork, who can move. What do you, what do you think? I've learned to not give predictions at this point as a commentator, but uh, I think they're both going to run 100 mile at each other. We're, we're not going to see a technical battle where they're going to try and uh, pick each other off. This is going to be a scrap. It, it won't be pretty, in other oh, words. No. It, it won't be pretty. That's what I want, though. Do you know what I mean? I want, we, people are going to pay good money to see a fight. We want action. Yeah, they're going to see a fight. That's what they're paying for. That's exactly what they're going to get. Totally. Yeah, I, I agree. And, and I think that one of the most important things will be that, that three minute limit. I was surprised when I heard that they were gonna fight three minutes. Usually these type of things, celebrity contests, and, and it's usually a two minute round, but three minutes, these guys have to really be in shape. And they, and they look like they are. I've heard they've trained quite well, both of them, and uh, all four of the fighters in the co-feature in the main event. So it's gonna be exciting. Let's see if we're ready for the main event weigh-in. All right, five minute break. We'll be back with everybody.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Upload Events in association with Maverick Media and OP Talent present our main event tomorrow night. It's six rounds of boxing, each round three minutes long. Now we're going to have the weigh-in, the official weigh-in for both fighters on the stage. Let's bring up first, he's 23 years old. He stands six feet two, originally from Ohio, but now living, training, and fighting out of Hollywood, USA, America's number one YouTube acting, music, and video sensation, making his YouTube boxing debut tomorrow night. He's the official challenger, and he is Logan the Maverick Paul! Here he is, Logan Paul, and his opponent. Let's bring up to the stage also at this time, ladies and gentlemen, 25 years old, six feet tall, a reach of 69 inches. He is the UK's number one YouTube social media superstar from Watford, England, the reigning, defending, undefeated, undisputed YouTube boxing champion of the world, the Nightmare K.S.O. Do we have somebody from uh, KSI's team right now? He should be here for the weigh-in when uh, Logan gets on the scale. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, the Nightmare KSI! Stepping on the scales first, the Maverick, Logan Paul, from Ohio to Hollywood, America's number one YouTube sensation. Tomorrow night, he officially will be a challenger for the YouTube Championship of the World. Champion, the Nightmare, KSI. Can we 
have a little face to face, guys. A little face to face. Here they are. The Maverick, the Nightmare. Tomorrow night, YouTube fans, it all goes down at Manchester Arena. Holy Communion. state of champions, but Watford happens to be the hometown of AJ Anthony Joshua. Ho! Jordy, let me ask you something. You uh, you kind of got in there to make sure the face-off didn't get too extreme. Uh, they both look great, I have to tell you. Yeah, I mean, I'll just, uh, I know with these two lads, it's one more second could be a totally different scenario, you know, so let's just, everyone goes home the day we get the pay-per-view on tomorrow. That's enough, isn't it? I think, I think this main event's going to be a great one. What do you think? The fact that they're so close in weight has surprised me. I thought Logan was going to be much heavier than JJ. Um, and if anything, uh, there can be no excuses for anyone in terms of weight. Whoever wins this fight is the better fighter. It's not about size anymore. Yeah, it's a good matchup physically. It's a very good matchup. And I think physically, mentally, we're going to see who's the most prepared. Who's, it's it's going to be a matter of being focused and who can do that, that third minute in a three-minute round. And six rounds is a long time. I think these boys are coming in as fit as humanly possible. For like, for considering how little time they've been doing this, they both seem like naturals in there. Natural. They've been training for a while. Yeah. They've really put in their you know, time in training camp. They really have. It's going to be great, mate. I can't wait. I'll see you there. All right. It's going to be on YouTube. It's going to be live at Manchester Arena tomorrow night, Saturday night, August 25. We'll see everybody there. <laughs>